Thanks for calling Sound Off. Go right ahead. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? I've got a lot of crackling in the line. Yeah, no, no you're good. You're fine. Go ahead. Good. Um, firstly, with regard to the last caller, I think if you want to go on a website, uh, plug in Laconia parking meters, you'll get a whole history. They hired a consulting firm for Laconia to figure out how they were going to pay for their downtown, and a, a great deal of that conversation came around parking meters. And there are parking meters on the weirs. Uh, along the lake yep. in Laconia. Yep. Yep. Um, and when I mentioned this to somebody else, they said, gee, I didn't know Laconia had a downtown. Um, <laughs> but that, you might want to do a little research for your own edification. Uh, secondly, I'm wondering if Kyle has heard any conversation uh, regarding Keene's parking meter situation relative to collecting unpaid tickets. There are literally hundreds, thousands of tickets and thousands of dollars every year that go unpaid. Um, and I'm wondering if the city has come up with a, a, a means of collecting so that perhaps they wouldn't have to raise the fees so very much if they started collecting these literally thousands, tens of thousands of dollars of parking fees that go unpaid every year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be interested if there's a plan to address that. Okay. And then just, 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 it, it, up, just real quickly, Fred, can you give me the uh, the Laconia uh, parking? Uh, just put, I, I went on Google and plugged in Laconia parking meters. Okay. Um, and then things started popping up. Okay. Thank um, you. And, and lastly, I'm wondering if Kyle has heard any. This is off, off topic. Um, generally, after every pumpkin festival, within a couple of weeks or perhaps a month or so, we hear about uh, whether or not the, the, the financial aspects of having the festival and did Let It Shine make any money or did they lose any money or, or how did it all shake out. And this year, or since, since the last festival in October, we've not heard or read a word about the finances. How, how did the festival do this past year? I know we set the record. Uh, does that equate to, to greater income and, and so on and so forth? Um, I did hear inside the four walls of City Hall that there was a meeting a couple months ago now um, that perhaps the in-kind services that the city donates, what is it, $75,000 or so, um, that they had exceeded, they had spent more in-kind services than they were supposed to. And I'm, I'm wondering if that's true, if the Sentinel has done any research to try to track these things down. We, um, oh, well, thank you, Fred, very much for calling. You know, we're up against a break right now. But I tell you what, we are going to take a break right now. We come back, we will answer those questions for you about the uh, unpaid fees of the parking meters in town and also, too, and uh, how uh, we think the Pumpkin Fest did this year overall. We'll take a break, though, right now on Sound Off with Chris and Greg.